Hello friends, Iceberg with Dylan Brothers Indian, and today I am beyond thrilled to bring you a walk around of the all new 2020 Indian Dark Horse Challenger. One of the most exciting things for me working at Dillon Brothers is that I do work for a multi-line dealership, which means I get to review, ride, test out all types of motorcycles. And today I am super thrilled to be able to talk about the all new Dark Horse Challenger. This is an exciting bike. This is a bike that's getting a lot of buzz around on the internet. It's uh, There's controversy behind it too, and that also excites me because any kind of controversy in my eyes is a good thing when it comes to people who love their brands, love certain motorcycles. But for me, as I said, being able to take all of these bikes out and taking different test rides and getting different perspectives of different motorcycles is a very thrilling thing for me and I truly appreciate and do love my job but let's go ahead and talk about the Challenger this is the dark horse model you do have three options on this motorcycle where you have the standard Challenger the dark horse Challenger being this one which is going to come in the all blacked out black denim version of this and then you do also have the limited model which is going to have three different paint schemes and will come available with chrome engines if you're not in the blacked out mood but uh continuing on with this dark horse this is a beautiful looking motorcycle this is obviously indian's first fixed fairing motorcycle you have a very nice setup in here uh, beautiful six and a half inch speakers you obviously have this seven inch ride command screen which is full Bluetooth navigation lots of options on there it's really going to tell you things that the bike may need uh, you can hook up all your phone everything talk to text through here the ride command is a incredible navigation and entire system plus you're getting a hundred watts per speaker boasting through here so you're definitely going to be able to light up the run with some good tunes and then up front also in the fairing the windshield is automatic and adjustable so that's very nice for taller riders you're going to be able to crank that thing up a little bit higher or if you also just want to feel the wind you can lower it nice and down inside the fairing you do also have several vent options so you can really move that air the way that you want to move it higher wind days a little bit cooler days you want to close those off and not get any of the wind perfect your hotter days you're definitely going to be able to open those up and really get some airflow moving through now of course one of the biggest things to talk about on this motorcycle is that engine this is going to be the all new power plus liquid cooled 108 cubic inch engine this thing i can't wait to take this thing out for a ride i must tell you i am going to bring my good friend and indian salesman brandon hilger out here to really kind of break down a lot of the specs of this bike i'm just giving a brief touch and walk through on it real quick but my part for this two-part video i'm going to get to take this bike out for a ride and do a review and i am beyond thrilled to test out this liquid cooled 108 cubic inch engine and they are boasting 122 horse on this bad boy with 128 foot pounds of torque um, as i said very excited about this motorcycle very excited to get it out for a ride but before i continue to ramble on as i said i'd like to bring out my good friend brandon and he's really going to kind of touch on a lot of the technology and specs on this motorcycle all right guys, thank you for checking in. I'm sure Chris has already given me a little bit of an introduction. My name is Brandon. I work with Dylan Brothers in the Indian Motorcycle Shop. Today, I get the pleasure of introducing to you the 2020 Indian Challenger. Now this is Indian's first step into the fixed fairing American V-Twin game. Um, super exciting, we've really been waiting for this thing. It's an absolute blast to ride. I'm gonna go over a lot of the specs, some of the details of this bike. Um, it's kind of been in the works for a while now. There's been a lot of rumor mill about this, but fortunately this thing has, uh, has come to fruition and is quite the dream come true. Um, we'll kind of start from front to back. Up front, obviously you can see Indian's new fixed fairing. It does remain a, or retain a movable windshield, much like the Chieftain models. 
Um, new for Indian, inverted front fork system. This is going to help you with unsprung weight. It's going to keep that front end planted. It's going to help your handling. Uh, also on that front wheel, you're going to notice the Brembo brakes. You've got twin disc Brembos on the front, single disc Brembo on the back. Um, six gallon fuel tank on this guy. It is a lockable fuel tank. Um, in front of that, you actually have the controls uh, as well as the six and a half inch display from Indian. Both the Dark Horse and the Limited will have the GPS portion active. Pretty cool features. This includes weather overlay as well as traffic. So if you're out on a long road trip and adverse weather starts to come your way or you're going to run into some bad traffic, this thing's going to let you know and going to help you try and route around that. Um, these bikes are equipped with AM, FM, Bluetooth. Uh, you can plug and play. Um, quite the infotainment system. I've, I'm really impressed with what Indian has had to offer uh, on this. Uh, below this tank is the new Power Plus 108 cubic inch engine from Indian. It is 108 cubic inches. It is liquid cooled. Single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. It is an absolute blast to ride. Uh, this thing touts 122 horsepower and 128 foot pounds of torque. It moves this bike around in a fantastic way. This dark horse is going to be weighing in roughly about 835 pounds wet. Um, so no lightweight, but the thing I love about Indians is their low center of gravity. It is a cast aluminum frame. Um, it feels like a featherweight, guys. It, it handles fantastic. Uh, moving backwards, underneath my seat is an adjustable hydraulic monoshock. It is a Fox shock. Um, the monoshock tail of this frame really helps these bike handle quite well. Um, you still see the squared off saddlebags. They are electronically locking on both the Dark Horse and the Limited models. Um, coming back to a new rear fender, uh, it is still belt final drive, much like the Chieftains and the heavyweight lineup that Indian has to offer currently. Um, six speed transmission. Uh, let's see what else. That is a lot of the new cool features. Guys, if any of you have any interest, questions, please call. Stop out and see us. Again, my first name is Brandon. Brian is my co-partner that runs the store with me. If we can help in any way, set up test rides, please come out, help us enjoy the weather, help us enjoy these bikes. We'd love to have you. All right, friends, I hope that you enjoyed that nice spec walkthrough with Brandon. He really knows his stuff on the Indians. Make sure to stop out and have a chat with him about this motorcycle. And for part two of this bike, I'm going to get all geared up and take this bad boy out for a rip today. I'm really excited to feel the power on this motorcycle and to see what it does in the corners, how it handles just your everyday riding, just kind of even going through the neighborhoods and hitting some speed bumps so I can feel that suspension because that's something about these bikes if you live in nebraska you are going to be riding these bikes to commute so you do want to kind of know how it handles at the slow speeds as well as it handles on the top speeds so stay tuned for part two that video will be up tomorrow and as always from the entire dylan brothers indian family thank you so much for checking out our videos and always remember gear up ride safe thanks a lot